Hi YouTube, it's Ashley and today I am 39 weeks and one day pregnant so she's still in here. Um, let me give you an update. Um, symptoms, I would say nausea for like the past two weeks. Um, I just can't eat very much and nothing sounds good, almost like back in the beginning of my pregnancy. Um, also, I it's really weird. I started breaking out um, on my back, which is very weird because I don't get breakouts at all. I have really dry skin. I never got pimples. Like sometimes, like right before I was going to get my period, I'd get like one pimple on my face and that's it. But this is like 15, like on my back, across my back. And it sucks. It's so gross. Like it hurts. And my sister, she has had acne like her whole life. And she's like, haha, now you get it. But I just thought it was really weird that I'm due in a week. And um, that all of a sudden I would get acne on my back, which is really weird. But I guess it's just because my hormones are all crazy. And, um,. I'm actually 39 weeks and two days. It's Sunday and I'm due on Friday. Hopefully I won't go past my due date, but it is a possibility. So if I do, um, I have an appointment three days after my due date to schedule an induction, um, which I would want to do as soon as possible. Um, some people don't want to be induced, but I plan on getting an epidural anyways. So I really have no problem being induced I would love to have my baby already, but um, let's see. This week, I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. I went in and asked if she would do a membrane sweep again. She had done it last week, and um, oh no, it was on Thursday. I'm sorry. This week, my appointment was on Thursday, and um, so they did the membrane sweep again. This time I told her, like, I'm so desperate to have this baby. Before I was a little uncertain, but this time I just was like, please get her out. I'm done being pregnant. I cannot wait. I need to have this baby. So she checked me, and I was a little over two centimeters, which at my appointment last week I was one and a half centimeters and 80% of base. And when she did the membrane sweep, I had gotten contractions, but not enough to actually put me into labor. So this Thursday, she did the membrane sweep again, but she did it a lot more aggressively um, to give me a better chance of going into labor. I totally felt a difference. It hurt so much more, just so much pressure, I almost couldn't take it. But I'm just so desperate to go into labor that I just bit my lip and squeezed Josh's hand and just took it and there was a big difference. I had bleeding, which I hadn't had before. Um, also last week when I had my membrane sweep the next day I lost my mucus plug. The same thing happened this time. Um, she did the membrane sweep. I was really crampy all day. Um, when she did the sweep she checked me. I was three centimeters and 80% of face still and she said the head was in my pelvic area like settled in like ready to go and that my body seemed ready to deliver already so I had high hopes it would work but it just gave me cramping and a little bit of contractions but nothing big the next day um, I felt like I lost my mucus plug again but this time it was like bloody which made me nervous, so I called labor and delivery and asked them, and they said it was normal, as long as it's not like bright red, um, or it's not like a lot to like fill up a pad. So um, I've been having that, like losing my mucus plug like for the whole week, or ever since then, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today. Every day like more comes out, and it's so gross. <laughs> like. I don't know, I hate it, it makes me nauseous, it's so gross, but I'm sure more gross things are going to be coming out pretty soon. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm so desperate to have her early, I'm not due till Friday and today's Sunday, 
But for the past two weeks, I just have everything ready, and every time I leave the house, like I make sure I have everything with me just in case I go into labor. And I just think because I've been on maternity leave for three weeks already that I have everything here and I'm just sitting and waiting for the baby to come. So, I mean, hopefully I won't go past my due date. Um, my doctor has said for the past month that she doubts I'll make it to my due date, but it's getting closer and closer and it looks like I might get there. Um, since Friday, I haven't had any contractions, so she's just been hanging out in there. Oh, and I've been doing everything else, like um, um, being intimate and eating spicy food and going for walks, doing squats. Some one, uh, I've read a thing about eating pineapple. I'm doing all of those and nothing is helping. Um, the only thing I didn't do is castor oil. And I don't plan on doing that at all. I don't want to go to like extreme measures, um, but I don't think it's safe, on my opinion. So I'm not doing the castor oil. Um, but yeah, yesterday I had an epiphany. She's just gonna come when she wants to come, and I can't do anything about it. I've tried everything, so I'm just gonna enjoy these last few days being pregnant. And I mean, I'm not gonna be pregnant again for a really long time, hopefully. <laughs> so. I need to just enjoy it and embrace it and hopefully um, by my next video I'll be introducing you to her. So that is about it. Um, oh yeah, also another symptom I've been having is at nighttime my belly gets so sore. Like it just feels achy and heavy and like when I roll over at night I have to like hold it in place so it like doesn't move. Like I don't know, I feel like I can't get up. I don't know. It's really weird. Like in the daytime, I feel normal. Like I can just stand straight up and I'm perfectly fine. But at night, my belly just gets so achy that it just hurts. And when I touch it or when she moves, it hurts. And it's just so achy and crampy. And I keep thinking when I get up to go pee that my water is going to break. But so far, nothing. Um, I actually think I'd like being induced because at least you know like when to go to the hospital or if your water breaks you know when to go otherwise it's just kind of like waiting and um, I just wish they'd be like oh yeah you're having you're gonna go into labor on Wednesday at this time that would be so nice but it doesn't work that way <laughs> so I'm just trying to be patient and um, yeah I think that's about it. This could be my last pregnancy vlog. If not, I'll have one um, on Friday, which is my due date, and we'll see how that is because um, I really want to have her before then, but <laughs> I'm just going to be at peace and let her come when she comes. Um, but I think that's about it. I'm not going to show you my belly because I really don't want to get up. Well, actually, I'll show you. Let me see. I can't tell if it's lower or higher, but um, my belly button does stick out. It mostly, sorry, it mostly sticks out when. Um, at nighttime or when I'm um, like laying down or like sitting in a chair like this my belly button will pop out but when I'm standing it goes back in which is weird but yeah thank you for watching my videos and keeping up with my pregnancy um, sorry it's kind of boring and long but you can tell at these videos we're starting to get kind of worn out and just ready for it to be over and our babies to be here so very excited. Hopefully it'll be soon and I will keep you updated. Thanks for watching.